How was up, y'all? I was popping, was cracking. It's D. About to react to this vid by lovely TTV. She's going to break down the situation with Lil Dirk. Definitely seen these headlines that he has been arrested for murder. For murder. Muslim rapper Lil Dirk arrested and plot to take out Quando Rondo. What? What? What is going on? How is he wrapped up in, in these shenanigans being this big of a rapper? I don't understand it. I get like back in the day when he was, you know, on the come up, when he had his little charges and stuff, he was in and out of jail. Cool. But once you get to this level, like what are we doing? <laughs> Why are you still involved in this street life at this level, this high level? At You can argue he's A-list celebrity, maybe B, depending on who you ask. But very high level rapper in the industry. How are you getting caught up in this? Or is this super old? I don't know the details. She about to tell us. Let's watch. A lot of stuff has gone down in the past 24 hours. So if you guys do not know, about seven days ago on my live stream, I had talked about how a lot of celebrities are switching up. You know, they're finding consciousness. They're finding politics, religion, etc. And so one of the celebrities that I talked about in there was not only Black China converting to Christianity, Brittany Runner being a super Muslim, the Tate brothers converting to, converting to Islam, but I also talked about Little Dirk in that video as well. And I was basically stating that it's very interesting. You know, I understand that Little Dirk has been a Muslim for a while, but when has he oh, ever no. prayed on camera? When does he really talk Are about his religion up until as of late? Because he wasn't talking about being Muslim, you know, three, four years ago, and he was running around with King Von. So I found it very interesting that just a week or so ago, he was praying and doing his salat on camera. And I'm like, mm, what is this about? I see this. It, to me, it felt like something was going to go down. Because I know for a fact that the feds had been looking at Dirk for a while. Me and B.L. Sherrell hit on this over two years ago, especially after the FBG duck situation. That's what I really thought he was going to get popped on but he got popped on a whole nother situation. So before I break all of that down, I wanna go ahead and play you guys this flashback. We're gonna go ahead and watch this. This is from my stream seven days ago. That you have to realize with a lot of these celebrities is that once they want to turn a new leaf, once they know that trouble is coming or that the money is running low, notice how they'll change their disposition. They'll either run to go find religion They'll run to find consciousness and become more woke. Or they'll just run to, you know, like Diddy, change Love. change his whole name and persona. Mm -hmm. But when it's something that drastic, I have to give it the side eye, especially when it comes to these celebrities. Because when you have to do things for social media validation and on camera, mm -hmm. to me, it doesn't come off as genuine. <laughs> Prime example, I'm sitting here. Yes, I have a little thigh out. Whatever talk this is, you know what I mean? People as far as Black China, though, maybe it's different in her case because I feel like she has been such the standard for the video thoughts, you know, <laughs> and like getting your body done and being on Instagram and having OnlyFans. So maybe she wanted to turn a new leaf and try to be a positive example. So maybe that's why her change is so drastic. And she's like, no, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't condone this anymore. I don't condone this lifestyle. I don't condone getting these surgeries. This is very dangerous. So yes, I want to document me reversing this process and getting, you know, these injections taken out and getting this filler taken out to, you know, show young women that, uh, you, you, you're beautiful regardless and you don't need all of this. And she also has a young daughter. So maybe that's another reason why she wanted to set a good example. So I support her. I support Angela and her transition. But Brittany, Reiner, Reiner, whatever, mm, side up. <laughs> she might be looking for a, a, a Muslim nigga. It's the relationship between me, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And that's who all I have to answer to. And that's that. Don't be deceived. True Christians follow the teachings of Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The tea I'm hearing on Lil Dirt is that they might be getting him on a Rico for that FBD duck situation. So he's on live during the whole Muslim prayer. Which to me, why why is this being shown? Like you're supposed to pray in private. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's between you and Allah. Like I, my mom is Muslim, so I'm talking from somebody who has a Muslim mother. My mom has never felt the need to be like, turn on the camera, T, so I can pray. Like, what? <laughs> when I see people changing like that and publicly trying to make things public, I do, I do have to question it. And 
it's no disrespect. That's she just me having common sense and discernment. Mm -hmm. Because again, all right, so y'all just watched that flashback, and less than seven days later, Little Dirk was popped, okay? And mm -hmm. I'm going to definitely go back and also explain further why I included Black China in that. You know, I didn't want to make that stream too long by talking about Black China, but we'll come back to her in a bit. Now, as far as this Lil Dirk situation, it is insane, everything that's going on, because a lot of this stuff was foretold in the music. Um, there's been a lot of things coming his way. That's why I believe that he was really putting his Muslim religion out there. He's been Muslim for a while. But like I said in my live stream, you know, three, four, five years ago, he wasn't rapping about being a Muslim. He wasn't rapping about doing Salat. He We're wasn't rapping about, about any of that stuff. It was all about, you know, sliding, mm -hmm. you know, no doing ops. dirt and everything else, his ops. And now mm -hmm. shit is real. And what's crazy, what is very crazy is how disingenuous social media is. Social media is so disingenuous. Right now, damn Dirk is trending all over Twitter. People are just, you know, so shocked that this happened. And, you know, Dirk, you got money. Why would you even get involved in something like this? But let me remind y'all, because, okay, again, okay. social media has such a well, short... Well, it's, it's not money. It's not about money, but it's like you've reached this level of success, just period, and this this higher status, and you've created a better life for yourself. I feel like at that point, you should be far removed from that street life, and you should have grown and matured as the years pass. So that's why I think it doesn't make any sense. It's not just about the money. Damn. Not even a few years ago, right, after King Von died... Everybody was running around talking about Slide for Vaughn <gasps> because of Takashi 6 9 People were promoting this. This what? was in the song. Every time Dirk would come on social media, you would see people writing Slide for Vaughn. Wow. Let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory. You man got shot, you not coming back. Go get a gun and get some get back to a bitch. Did you guys notice that, um, that subliminal message in there? Let me go back a bit. It says it right that here. That is so toxic. Slide for Vaughn. It's in there for like two seconds. Slide for Vaughn. Subliminally. And on top of what he's saying. So a lot of these record labels know what they're doing. They know what they're instigating between these rappers. And the whole situation to me is insane. You'll never get me to feel bad for a King Vaughn, who we coined a serial killer on our podcast. Me and B.L. Sherelle did. Um, this is a man who took many people's lives, and like I said, if the shoe was on the other foot, and it was it was King Von's boys sliding for him, and they would have killed Little Tim and Quando Rondo, the internet would have been celebrating. But because it was the team that wasn't as popular, now y'all want Little Tim's head. Like I said, Little Tim mm -hmm. is a shooter. This is what all these rappers talk about having shooters and hitters, and finally somebody did what the hell they were supposed to do, and it's an issue. King Von was the sole reason for his demise. He started the mess. He started fighting Quando Rondo. And Lil Tim ended up shooting. Remember, several men died that day. It wasn't just King Von that died on his own. Several men died. Lil Tim was shot. It was a mess. So I believe what happened is that all the pressure on Dirk, because again, this is what Dirk raps about. He's about that life. You know, Dirk has been known to do a, a lot of stuff back in his days when he was in Chicago and he was coming up. And so... The pressure of social media, him having to keep up this rep, led him to make some foolish decisions. He went and hired I people got very little to help him slide for bond. A man who literally caused his own demise. I mean, the whole situation is insane. You can't make this stuff up. But I initially thought that he was really going to be popped for FBD Duck because that whole situation links back to Vaughn. A bunch of OTF people were arrested a few years ago behind that killing. And a lot of stuff leads back to the money, which is Little Dirk. And if you guys don't know, Mama Duck, she came out and she was basically calling out Little Dirk and saying that he had something to do with the murder of her son and that she was suing Little Dirk mm -hmm. and I believe the record labels as well. So we're going to go ahead and watch this news clip really quick. It's been four years since Chicago rapper FBG Duck was killed and his mother's pain is still raw. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him and the life that was taken from him. FBG Duck, whose real name was Carlton Wheatley, was gunned down on the Gold Coast by a group of masked men as he waited to enter the Dolce & Gabbana store August of 2020. His girlfriend, Cashade Williams, and another man also wounded in the attack. 
They joined he Wheatley's really empire in filing a lawsuit too, yeah. Wednesday, alleging rap superstar Lil Durk had a hand in the gang-related killing, wanting to take out Weekly. Their years-long rivalry playing out in a series of violent drill rap songs. Our complaint of all lays out that a $100,000 bounty was placed on the life of FBG Duck to have him killed. The lawsuit names a wide-ranging list of defendants, including Lil Durk, his record label, Only the Family, or OTF, and other larger labels that partnered with OTF, like Sony and UMG Interscope. Attorney Roosevelt Allen saying the larger labels welcome artists engaging in criminal activity, putting profit over human life. They want authenticity, which has bred these type of individuals getting in the music business, carrying out their activities, and the record label companies are fueling it, financing it, developing brands for them. Earlier this year, six purported gang members were convicted of carrying out Weekly's murder. Allen saying with this lawsuit, he hopes others who knowingly promoted violence will be held accountable. That's where it crosses the line when you take it from the music and you take it to the public in the streets and you kill someone. We contacted representatives for Lil Durk, Sony, and UMG Interscope Records, but have not received a response. Watch breaking. All right, so you guys just saw that, and that was literally two weeks ago. So I felt like they were getting closer to coming after Dirk, okay, for, at least for that situation. Now, everything that's going on is insane because... You know, I get where Mama Duck is coming from, but let's not act like your own son didn't perpetuate the same bullshit. Let's mm -hmm. not act like your own son wasn't introduced to the world. You know what I'm saying? Making diss tracks, talking about ops and shootings. You know what I mean? So a lot of these guys are getting into this industry and the whole thing is keeping it real. But then once things are kept real, not everybody wants to play crazy. You know, once things are too real, not everybody wants to act like they don't know where all this realness came from. Well, look in the music. Look at the things they've been talking about over the years. It should shock no one. I right. do feel like these record labels do play a part in this because they love Black Death. They know that when these young rappers die or get locked up, their music sales are going to go up. So they don't really care. You know, they have a vested interest for a short time and they move on to the next. Now, what's also even more crazy is that shortly after that lawsuit came out, Little Dirk was, was also given the keys to the city of Chicago. And this kind of surprised me because it's like you have so many people in Chicago who are actually putting in work, Never been in trouble Dirk trying to help the youth. About? And you give somebody who helped to perpetuate drill culture, let's call right. it what it is, in Chicago, you give him the key to the city. This is no different than Mayor Eric Adams giving yeah, Diddy a, a key to the decision. city. But all the chaos and nonsense that he did in New York City, for him to get a key to the city is a slap in the face. And they eventually took that key back. So let me go ahead and play you guys this video of Little Dirk getting a key to the city not even a week or so ago. This is just insane. So you see here it says rapper Little Dirk gets keys to Broadview and Bellevue, prompting some backlash. So that was him there in his Muslim garb, here with the teenagers. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys the video um, of the ceremony as well. So Dirk Banks, also known as yeah, Luther, really it brings me great honor and pleasure as the mayor of the village of Broadview to present this key. Yeah, and so on behalf of the village of Broadview, city, we are honored to present this key to the city, citizen, to Dirk Banks, there. neighborhood heroes. This key is a token of our appreciation for your collaboration mold. and partnership on today's date, October 18, 2024. Let this key keep you humble. Let this key make you stronger. And let this key enlighten all of our young people, our Broadview young scholars. We're here because of them. So we thank you and we honor you and we appreciate you being in the village of Broadview. And here's your key. On behalf of the village of Bellwood, That's we are good. honored to present this key to the city, to Dirk Banks, Neighborhood Heroes. This key is a token of our appreciation for your collaboration Hello. and partnership. Thank you. Child. All right, so you guys just saw so that. Again, people be so mesmerized by celebrity and famous people, they throw all common sense out the window. Yeah, this what? is a man who literally, with his crew, OTF and uh, O-Block and Chief Keith, Little Reese, remember they all came out during the drill era of 2012, who literally terrorized Chicago, okay, who helped to rise the murder rates, and now they're giving him the key to the city. Very interesting. So now let me go ahead and read to you guys the reports that are coming out because they are saying that there is a snitch in Dirk's camp. But I think Dirk knew that because even in his latest song called Federal Nightmares, he was saying the same thing. So y'all just heard those lyrics. He's saying there's no point in getting a lawyer if your homie told, you know, your homie will be on the stand with his head down like he don't know you. So I think Dirk knew for a while that this day was coming and these chickens were coming home to roost, okay? So this is what's being reported. They're saying court documents reveal OTF members Dirk. 
Little Dirk, known as Dirk Banks, faces murder for hire charges after being allegedly implicated by a member of his hip hop group, Only the Family, aka OTF. According to the indictment filed in the U.S. District Court in Los Angeles, the 32-year-old Grammy-nominated artist was arrested in Florida on Thursday and is currently being held in Broward County Jail, awaiting transfer to the U.S. Marshals. The charges are tied to a larger federal case surrounding a plot to target Georgia-based rapper Quando Rondo, reportedly in retaliation for the 2020 killing of Chicago rapper King Von, a very close friend and collaborator of Banks. This recent indictment has sparked significant attention due to the alleged betrayal within OTF involving an informant who reportedly cooperated with the authority for years. The informant, identified as OTF member Jam, allegedly wore a hidden wire for several years to, to gather evidence for the authorities. Jam, who was released from prison in 2022 after serving 12 years for attempted murder, reportedly provided information directly linking Banks to the murder for hire scheme against, Ron against Rondo born Tyquarian Terrell Bowman. And that is OTF Jam right here. Um, then they go on to talk about, child, y'all know King Yella, honey. Y'all got something to say. Chicago rapper King Yella is also talking about OTF Jam. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what he has to say right here. Lil Durk been picked up by the feds. I don't know if he's been charged or nothing. Probably questioning it. Uh, they put OTF in a lot of things. Uh, but I heard somebody named OTF Jam. They said they've been calling him a rat, 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 rat. And basically he said, okay, I'm a rat. Who we'll watch this. Watch this, that's all this information that I know. Rack this, I'm gonna tell this, I'm gonna tell that. Um, my video earlier, I told y'all, man. If somebody say dirt name, that's all it's gonna take to say that man's name. And obviously, like I said earlier too, if they come, they come, they ain't coming just because they wanna move, they come and they feel they got you. These people will do you in. Mm -hmm. Now they got, they look like the same, the O Block 5, and now they pick up somebody else. So now they got the OTF 5, and then they pick up somebody else, which is who? All right, so you guys just watched that short clip. So this entire situation is crazy. It's going to be a lot more coming out. But like I said, it's very interesting how social media, a lot of these guys on social media are trying to act like they're so hurt behind him getting locked up and they're so shocked. But again, these were the same outlets who instigated the whole slide for Vaughn, who were, you know, platforming Takashi 6 9 you know, who thought it was all fun and games. But the streets are the streets, you know what I'm saying? And when people come from the streets, they live by the streets. And so I just hope that Little Dirk knows that, you know, unfortunately, he allowed social media and street culture to get him into a situation that he did not need to be in, okay? He could have kept it on wax, but again, having to play into that persona, he decided to pay these guys to be hitmen. And let's also not forget that even after it was done, Dirk was not moving smart. He was also dropping diss tracks towards Quando Rondo. He was also using the clip of uh, Quando when his cousin had gotten killed and he was yelling no. Um, little Dirk used that in a song. You know, so it's like you're literally leaving breadcrumbs for the feds. It's sad. Just like when King Von, after he had killed somebody, he was on camera eating cereal and, you know, laughing about it. Like, there's like a demonic spirit that's just around hip-hop at this point. It's really, really sad. So remember, this was the video of Quando Rondo when he found out about his cousin dying. He was in the car and they missed Quando. They ended up killing his cousin, Little Pat. I don't know. I just want to have to do that. I'm just trying to run. I'm just trying to run. I'm just trying to run. So then after that video went viral, this is the song that, that Lil Durk dropped I'm concerning the shooting. Blur that. Yeah, Lil Durk and I hold back in this new lead diss track. He even sampled Kondo crying after he found out his friend has. Let me know what y'all think about this. All right, so you guys just saw the snippet of that song. That's so again, so keeping good. it real and keeping the gangster goes wrong. And again, this is not like shade or like to be mean or on some I told you so. That's so I really evil. think this is sad. Like Jesus. I personally have met Dirk and he's a really nice guy in person. But you don't know what people do behind the scenes what they're involved in. But he was very nice when I met him. And it's just like it, it's sad that it got to that point. I really wished that after the King Von situation, he would have just kind of sat down and reflected and understood that, you know, maybe that was a message from a lot telling you that you need to sit down. That the way that you're moving is crazy. You know, sometimes death has a way of sending messages to people. But I think between social media, these personas, the record labels, and people wanting folks to be so real and gangster, that got into his head. And he felt like he had to do this. He had to slide for Vaughn. And like I always tell you guys, once the feds are involved, that's a 98% conviction rate. He's going to go down. They're talking about he's possibly looking at the death penalty. Oh. I mean, this is, this is insane. 
But it just shows you, like, how real it is out here. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's really sad that a lot of the fans keep up this drama. They stay instigating this. And then when real stuff happens, now everybody yeah, wants to play shocked and crazy. And that's why I said I wasn't really buying this new Muslim persona. Again, he's been Muslim for a while, okay? But the way he was so loud about it and wearing the garbs and praying on live, I just wasn't buying it. I felt like he was trying to show the feds. He was sending a message that he's trying to turn into Ooh. Lee. Let's not forget, before things ever hit the public, there is so much murmur going on in the background, especially in celebrity circles. There are things that are being said in the background that you, the public, will never really understand. That is why a lot of times I don't buy a lot of this shit that I see with these celebrities. Because sometimes we're privy to a bigger picture that you all may not see and have access to. This is why I question everything. Even with Black China, people were saying, oh, you're really judging her. She's changed her ways. I'm not saying that she hasn't so-called changed and now she's a Christian and she wants to go by Dr. Angela White. But what I find interesting oh, is when the change what? happened. Because, again, social media has such a short attention span. Remember, before she turned into being a super Christian, um, she was being accused of sex trafficking. People forget that. That was just oh, two years ago. There was a girl that came out named Ava Louise. And she was saying that Black China tried to sex traffic her. And Black China was in her DMs. And Ava was coming out with a lot of receipts. So much so that Black China sent her a cease and desist. Then that was swept under the rug. And then a video popped up a while later of some girl supposedly being locked in a hotel room. And she had to run out for her life. And who was in that hotel room with her? Black China. <laughs> No, I'm not saying I'm gonna leave. She's crazy. No, that's crazy. She's crying. Come here. Come here. Where's my? I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Come on, baby. It's not your fault. It's not you. You didn't even cheat. I'm not going in there. Her. I wanted to keep the door in. You see that? All right, so you guys just saw that viral clip from 2021. So, so again, for me, I question everything about I've these celebrities, especially when they do a whole 180. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what ends up happening with the little Dirk situation. But I look forward to hearing from you guys. Not her keeping that woman in there against her will. I don't know what exactly was being said. The audio was really muffled, but that was really disturbing. And she just opened the door looking creepy. Like, what the hell happened there? But as far as Dirk, yeah, it's not looking good. And they talking about he might get the death penalty. What? What? These celebrities is going down. Like, when it rains, it pours. Back to back, these people are going down. At least we're easing up off of the PDF stuff, though. I couldn't handle too much more of that. I didn't want to hear about no more PDF files. And, I mean, murder is terrible, too, but goodness. <laughs> at, least, at least we're getting a break from, you know, finding out about those sickos. But, yeah, it, it, it's, it's wild that this is happening. Uh, but not surprising. Look at his lifestyle and the things that he rapped about. I guess he lived what he rapped. So that's what y'all want, right? Y'all talk about people being real and... People like this and they encourage this type of behavior and this lifestyle, which is very toxic and evil. Using that audio of him crying, I broke my heart to see that. Um, I'm going to have to blur that that whole clip because they actually showed his body. Like, that was disturbing. But seeing that and seeing his reaction was so heartbreaking and so sad. So for him to, like, mock him and use that audio to talk shit about him on a song and basically make fun of, of his his grief as his, you know, friend died, or just, they say his cousin, whoever that was to him, is so evil. That's like next level evil. So, I mean, I can't feel bad that he's getting justice. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!